If you live in Nillambik, then you need to be on the lookout for Queensland fruit fly in your garden. But how can you tell if the fruit fly is there? And then, what do you do about it? Monitoring traps are one way to tell if there are adult fruit flies around. Hang the traps amongst the leaves of fruit trees, out of direct sunlight, and in places like your veggie patch and compost areas. There are different types of Queensland fruit fly traps. The first is a pheromone lure, and these contain an odour that attracts the male Queensland fruit fly. Secondly, food-based traps. These traps contain a protein which attracts both females and males, but especially the hungry female. Thirdly, fruit-scented traps. These traps smell like a ripening piece of fruit and attract pregnant females looking for a place to lay their eggs. Following the instructions on the trap will help you work out what time of the year to use it, how many traps you'll need and how to set it up. Check your traps weekly and refresh them often. Make sure you've got the pheromone traps set up for spring and the protein and the scent-based traps set up before there is ripe fruit. Occasionally, traps catch other pests too, but that's okay. Just look for the insects with the yellow markings of the Queensland fruit fly. Cut open your crops and check for maggots. Trapping and monitoring is only one part of Queensland fruit fly control. In the next video, we'll look at good garden hygiene, baiting, and how to correctly use exclusion netting. Remember that the steps that you take to control Queensland fruit fly in your garden will help to reduce the spread in our neighbourhood and to commercial farms and orchards in our region.